All right, so we got to talk about this, man. Before we jump into the live stream that Corey SSG did yesterday, he went live and talked about a bunch of different things now that he's in Dubai. But I saw this posted about a week ago. This is his ex-girlfriend, Danny. Somebody said, define broke because one million is broke to some people. Danny said, he don't got a million. He got a thousand dollars. This man got a thousand dollars. You guys see this right here? Define broke, because $1 million is broke to some people. I don't know who those people are. A million dollars is still a million dollars. Um, Danny says, he don't got a million. He got 1,000, 1K. That's crazy. And then somebody here said, an old girl he has with got $8 to her name, like you said. So let's uh, jump into this uh, TikTok live stream, man. This is... I think he's just trying to sell more courses now, now that he's in Dubai. Um, but let's check out his um, his TikTok live stream. Prayers out. Fuck that post to me. The fuck that the fuck that post to me a silent crash out. Oh Lord Jesus, save him. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What do that mean, bro? I'm, I'm, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do that mean? Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, I see the wall giving social media no more, bro. The wall, the wall don't get in here no more, bro. Man, Kadipo is the. <laughs> All right, I'm cool. Did we just pray for the lost souls? <laughs> oh, that was super funny. <laughs> That's super funny for I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm goofy. Oh, so you went to the solid crash. <laughs> you know what? I love you for that, because that's super funny. You, you took it my soul with that one, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. took it my soul with that one, though. But y'all say some crazy shit, boy. <laughs> I love y'all. Oh, shit. Shit wasn't even that funny. Oh yeah, that shit was funny as fuck. Because let me tell you something. When I read certain stuff and the, the war, my mind said that, bro, you probably know what new my mind. <laughs> you probably know what new my mind said that. You don't take things in the way I take things. You don't, you don't, you don't <laughs> observe the way I do. Ah <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, man. But yeah, man. All right, y'all. I'm gonna get ready to get off here. I'm about to go. Oh boy, life is so amazing though, man. You know what, bro? Somebody said, Corey, can I talk to you more about awakenings? God is definitely... That's my goal. I promise y'all. Y'all got, got my word. You feel me? Like, I got a purpose to fulfill, bro. And I'm, 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 I'm going to be a stand-up guy to y'all. I'm nowhere near perfect, right? But I'm nowhere near the person that people try to paint me out to be. A thousand percent. A thousand percent. But the thing is, is that, uh, you know, none of us are perfect. We all born to sin. But it's like, my life, since I've been successful, right, just the age 18, however you want to put it, you know, we all go come into some type of success in our life with the lack of knowledge. And I look back at my life now, right, when I was 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, when I was making, like, you know what I'm saying, I first started making my millions of dollars and shit like that. A lot of y'all don't know me in real life. If y'all knew me in real life, y'all would see, like, oh, shit. Like, Corey, none of that shit makes me, right? But I was still in a learning process. When I was, like, coming up at first, I was just living the life that I desire. I was just, nigga, I come from nothing. I come from Alabama, 334. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not on vacation, y'all. This is not no vacation. Nigga, I actually left the United States. But, um, like... Buying the car, buying the houses, buying the clothes, buying all the shoes, buying the jewelry, you know what I'm saying? I was taking all my friends out on vacation. I'm paying for everything, paying for everybody. I'm giving away money. I'm helping people, helping people here. And I didn't really truly understand the logic of money, right? I didn't understand, like, I didn't understand life for what it really is. I didn't understand, like, 
people. Like, a lot of y'all got friends that you think your friends are not your friends, they are associates. Like, a lot of people around you to observe your energy, bro. Like, if y'all not, like, bro, it's so much I learned, bro. I swear, I swear to God, bro, swear, I'm telling y'all, bro, like, my, my bro, listen, bro. <laughs> bro, life is so, like, it's so, life is not what we really think it is, bro, until you actually wake up. So, when I come back to social media, my goal is, like, y'all ain't gonna see me on here, get on here showing y'all, oh, me living my best life, oh, I'm, I just bought this, I just bought that, oh. I just did this like nah like my goal is to get on here and really talk and help people become who they are called to be by sharing the knowledge and sometimes bro it ain't about just reading a book it's about the experiences and stuff like that the story so me going live is what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna have a whole problem because I don't want to get I'm gonna tell you something bro I don't care about being famous none of that shit no more none of that shit I don't care for none of that shit bro care for no, I don't care for none of that shit you feel me? So I did that already. I'm not doing it now. I did that already. And another thing, this is another thing y'all got to understand too. I'm going to teach y'all something. Because a lot of people are blind. Y'all got to stop speaking on people's life that y'all only see on social media for a certain amount of time. You're not in a person's life every day, 24 hours a day. You don't know, what was I doing just an hour ago, right? What you were doing an hour ago? You probably scrolling on social media, looking at other people's lives and shit like that. You were probably at your job working. Uh, probably 30 minutes, hour ago, I was working out. I was reading my books. I'm eating healthy. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to I'm listening to, um, to 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 the pastor on YouTube. You feel what I'm saying different preachers and stuff like that. I'm installing a lot of knowledge inside of me. I'm living a peaceful life. You feel what I'm saying? Like so, it's like you y'all be judging people, but y'all don't be knowing. You don't know what these folks do on a 24 hour basis, bro. <laughs> and you and, and, and you know what I'm saying? It's like did somebody say you put everything on social media? If, if I put everything. That was weird. <laughs> Y'all weird. But you know, it's like, you gotta find your peace, gang. Bro, I'm gonna tell you something. These niggas work. Man, I ain't never seen them like it, bro. Hold up, look at this. Look at all those people, bro. Hold up. You gotta see it. They everywhere. In the daytime, cause it's getting dark right now, boy. And they, and they work 24 hours to about it be 12 o'clock in the morning, bro. They out here working, they out here grinding. They ain't even stopping. Shit crazy. Somebody said, I'm truly sorry I was such a hater, but I look at you way different now. A lot of people are haters, bro. A lot of people hate what they don't understand. That's life. I'm just glad I never was a hater. <laughs> I never hated nobody. I can't. I just wasn't built like that. I was raised really different. Thank God that I had my father and my grandfather and my mom in my life and my grandma. A lot of people don't have those people in their life. How many of y'all can truly say that y'all got somebody in y'all life that's really guy y'all? That's talk to y'all on a daily basis. That pour to y'all every day. They give y'all a lecture. That, that actually give y'all the real knowledge, the OG game. How many of y'all can really say y'all got that in y'all life? How many of y'all actually truly want it in y'all life? It come from God, little y'all know it or not. A lot of people don't got that, bro. You know how, bro, do you know how many people out here living life trying to figure it out on their own? Bro, do you know how, how hell that is? That's hell. It's hard. So you can't, that's why you can't be hard on everybody, bro. Everybody don't have that, that, that blessing, though. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's so many people out here that just on their own trying to figure it out every day. But it's people out here that'll help you, though. You got to look for it, and you got to want it. Ask God. Man, let me tell you something. I don't care what nobody say. When it comes down to the Lord, when it comes down to God, you can't tell me nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. Don't tell me nothing. If you ain't, if you ain't found on your own... Man, God will send if you whatever you ask God for, bro. He gonna send it to you. You gotta want it though. Ask for God is, bro. God has sent somebody so random in your life, bro. Somebody you never knew, never knew, never met. They'll just come in your life. I'm talking about the most randomest way, and they'll come start pouring it to you. Cause that's God sending an angel for you. You don't even know it. God, that's where faith come in. That faith is what you don't see, bro. But you gotta believe. Like straight up, I'm telling you. Like one of my mentors right now, bro. I'm gonna tell you the story real quick. I'm gonna tell you one, one, one true story real quick, right? I, this is everything I love. 
when I had moved to Miami, right? I was in Miami. I think it was in December or January. I was down in Miami. I was on South Beach. I was sitting down at the restaurant, uh, Mangoes. I was sitting at Mangoes, right? Me and my, uh, me and my future wife. We were sitting at Mangoes, right? And I was sitting there chilling, and I seen this dude, this black man, right, on on, on the other side of the street. If you've been to Miami, you know what I'm talking about. And I looked at him. I said, I don't know who that man is, babe. I said, but he looked like somebody. He looked like somebody. And I, I on everything I love, right? So I'm sitting there, and he had walked over. Like, he had walked across the street, and we just connected eyes. He was like, what's up, King? And I, and I, sh I shook his hand. I like, what's going on? I said, how you doing? Blase, blase. Blah, blah. And he told me who I was, I know who I was. It was just that simple, right? Shook my hand. He would say, we gotta connect. It was that simple, right? I don't know this dude for nowhere. He pulled off in the Rolls Royce race. Like, I swear to God, he pulled off in the Rolls Royce race, right? Tell me why. That was, that was, in, that was in like December, January. December last year. January this year. It was one of the months. I had to go to my pictures and see. October, right? I, pulled, I was going through the situation with with, with one of the peoples And I pulled up to Joey's And I was in Houston I pulled up to Joey's right I was in the Wraith I was in the Green Wraith When I pulled up I seen the dude Standing on the side of the building Right I seen the dude Standing on the side of the building He shook his head I'm pulling up I ain't know I just, I just did that guy's respect And as I pulled in valet I hopped out the car He walked to the valet sign And he was standing up Like I, on, on my, If I'm lying I'm flying On my, on my dead sister and he, and he just walked to the valet. I walked, I, I hollered the car. I threw my head about like, what's up? What's up? And I said, and I, and I, I ain't pitching him, and I noticed who he was. I like, what you doing way out right here? And he was smiling, he just smiling in the face, good energy, high vibration. I went on and shook his hand. He just walked and started talking to me, bro. I swear to God, he just, he just walked, he was like, hey, so, he was like, so, you know, like, I was just thinking, I was going through this situation, but he just was talking, right? Man, oh my mama, why the fuck this man was talking right and telling me a story, but it was exactly what I was going through. So I'm listening to him. So we started walking inside, and I pulled up to Joy with my partner, right? I put it with my partner. My partner witnessed all of this shit. He walked in with us, we sat down at the bar. Like, my partner went out to the table. A2 dude was in there and everything. But me and him was sitting at the bar, and we just sitting there talking. But my spirit was telling me to listen to this man. I swear to God, my spirit like, listen to this man. I'm listening to him. To this day, this man, this man is my, my main, my, my mentor. They had helped me through so much shit, bro. I can't lie to y'all. When I tell y'all, have awakened me. Like, he literally sent from God. When I tell you, he's very spiritual. Like, he's like, bro, it, it hit different, bro. Put it like this. This is the prime words he told me. I'm an eagle that was sent down to pick you up. Just like that. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? And to this day, like, we, every day, I be with him every day. Like, we on the phone every day. I just left, you know what I'm saying? But... He is the person, like, bro, when I tell y'all, I can't even explain to y'all half of the stuff because I don't want to talk about it tonight. It's going to be in my testimony. But when my story come out, for all the people that laugh, for all the people that be thinking to the joke, don't, you know you know how y'all watch them documentaries on, on, on Netflix and y'all see a person true story now and y'all be like, oh, man, y'all feel for them. Y'all, I don't, don't want to see all that sympathy when I tell that story. I'm telling y'all, not dead ass, I'm telling you. But life is so amazing, so I said it to say this, bro. If you lost, surrender to God. Be patient, patient. Oh yeah, that there, that there. I gotta, I gotta put that on y'all. Patient, patience. Find patience, bro. Stop rushing. Stop wanting on your time. Nothing to come on your time. It come with God time. Find patience. I'm telling you, everything is just come together. Life is a big ass puzzle, bro. You. You can't figure it out when the puzzles are scattered out, bro. You got to put the puzzles together. If you understand your life like that, you will start taking it in a different way, bro. And it's a letter. You got to take every step on that letter. And you go fall. It says in the Bible, a righteous man falls seven times, he'll still get back up. So if you fail one time, don't worry about what people going to say about you. Oh, man, I, I was unsuccessful. I failed at this, man. I feel like, bro, don't worry about that, bro. Don't worry about what people think about you, bro. Look at life as is this is your this is your journey. This is your vision. God gave you like, everybody got their own vision, bro. Stop trying to make everybody see your damn vision. God ain't give it to everybody. He gave it to you. 
You know how many of y'all give up because y'all feel like people don't understand your vision, people don't believe in your vision. You better wake the hell up. Wake up. He ain't give it to them. He ain't give it to them. He gave it to you for a reason. Stop trying to go in there and convince people this is what I'm going to do. This is what I want to do. They don't see your vision. They ain't going to understand your vision. Most people not. Especially when you ain't bringing them along. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna definitely shut it down. They're going to 100% shut it down. Then, I promise you, I'm just telling y'all. So it's like, bro, don't worry about what nobody got to say about your life. It don't even, it don't, it's sometimes, bro, let me tell you something. I'm going to keep it a band with y'all real quick. I don't, I, think, I don't think a lot of y'all really know who I am, right? If you do, shout out to you. I appreciate all the love over the years. If you know me and you, you've been supporting me for all the years, bro, I'm a Gemini, right? And I have a habit, I don't know, like, can't nothing get in my way. I'm going to just be honest with y'all. <laughs> so don't take this wrong way. I'm not being cocky. I'm confident. I'm 100% confident in who I am. Cause I know who I am. So when I talk, don't think I'm speaking out of arrogance or cockiness. Like, nah, I know who I am, and I'm not gonna let nobody just, like make me feel like I don't know who I am. But I had already manifested my life, right? And I put it on social media. I said, in the next five years, this is the life that I desire and I will live. Uh, I don't care who uh, say they say believe what they want to believe, right? But when you put out on social media or in the real what you want to do with your life, anything like that, bro. Most people are going to try to tear it down. They're going to try to block it out. They're going to try to, like, they're going to think you're crazy. They're going to say, ah, it don't make no sense. But, and, and that's cool. If you really just have confidence in yourself, you could do that. Because you're going to be able to look back in and be like, I told y'all. But if you feel like, you know what I'm saying, you can't take what people say and get to you, just listen. It's cool. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Tell yourself. Hold up. Give my other book. And I'm only doing it because I want to help somebody. This ain't, this ain't for everybody. I'm gonna keep it a band with y'all. I got 700 people in the live right now, but I guarantee you, bro. Hold up. Look, I got 700, what, 600 people in the live right now. Seven hundred, what, 600 people in the live right now. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm gonna be real with y'all. Bro, I'm gonna keep it a band. Bro, listen, hold up. I like this bit. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I, I, I just really like this watch. It's just nasty. But listen, I'm gonna show you something. Write it down. Write it down. Like, listen, I'm only gonna show y'all this for one reason only. That's it. Write it down, bro. I'm a bro. I'm gonna only show y'all this because. The three six nine. Since you spoke on it, I'm gonna grab it because a lot of people don't understand it, and I and I, I really want to show y'all something out of this book because I'm gonna convince y'all to go get. Nigga been, nigga been in the gym, nigga been getting right, boy. Hey, you know, it's like you want a better life, you got to eat good, you got to work out every day, you got to drink a lot of water and, and, and stay healthy, okay? Straight up. You feel me? Yeah. My wife, my wife's shoes. <laughs> My future, I the slip of the truth. Oh, no. Nah. I just like sitting outside. All right. I'm, I'm back. Am I back right now? Is it is it still lagging? I'm sorry. It was lagging. All right, so let's check it out. Yes, no, yes, it's good. You're back. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so look, all y'all, listen to me. 
do this for do this, don't don't do this for me. Do this for you. Just thank me later, okay? I challenge all of y'all, right? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back on here. I, I probably ain't gonna go live y'all on TikTok. No problem tonight. Sometime next year, sometime I ain't gonna hold y'all. I went live today for a reason, that's it. Cause after the day I'm not going back live. I'm out, I'm back off social media, I'm gone, I'm deuces, I'm, I'm back off in the real world. <laughs> But do this for me and do this for you though. Don't do it for me, do it for you, but I challenge you to do it. I need everybody to go buy y'all a journal from Walmart. Go get you a journal. Go get you a journal, okay? Do what you gonna do. Take your time doing this, don't rush it. Because a lot of people feel in life because they expect things to come fast. Nothing gonna come fast, okay? Uh, if they ban TikTok, go download Limit 8. TikTok is going to transform everything from here to Limit 8. Excuse me, I had a burp. Write down your goals, right? Journey your life. I need y'all to start doing this here. Get in certain books. Find out. Okay, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. You got to really find out where you want to be in life, who you want to be in life. And you got to actually see yourself living that life already. All right, whatever you want. Let me tell y'all something. You can have whatever you want in life. Don't never, don't never feel like, oh, I want a nice car, I want a nice house, or I want this. Oh, that, that's me living too uppity. Like, bro, God put us on this earth. We can desire whatever the hell we want. Don't never let nobody tell you nothing different, bro. If you want a big ass mansion and, a, and on, on five acres of land or twenty acres of land. You can get it. I swear on everything I love. I, I'm telling you this. Like y'all might think a book. I'm telling. I don't care who you are in the live. You watching me right now. Whatever you want in this world, bro, it's at your hands. You can do it. You can get it. I, I swear on everything I love. On everything I love, bro. Nobody stopping you. Nobody holding you back. There is no limit that you can't live the life that you want to live. It start with you though, and it start up here. Listen to me. Take your glasses off, cause y'all might think I'm bullshitting y'all. It start up here. It don't start out here. It don't start here. It start up here. Please understand what I'm telling y'all this shit. Write it on paper. All right? Manifest it. When you vision up here and, and, and every day you keep you keep thinking about it, you design it, and you asking God for the guidance to that because you got to go through shit to get to it. I'm going to tell y'all now. Don't get it twisted. Like, it start up here, but you're going to manifest it here in the reality. In, 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 in the physical realm, right? But, um, okay, so look, no, ooh, shit, the wind's hot. Blow my glass and get these bitches back on my face. No, we ain't having that. All right, hold on. So, look, I'm gonna show y'all something real quick. I'm gonna go show y'all certain things for a reason. Only certain things for a reason, okay? So, because uh, when, I, when I talk to y'all, I want y'all to see that I'm not talking to y'all and just telling y'all things that I'm not preaching, I'm not doing myself. So, okay. Check this out. It's January 1st, 2023. I am going to document what I do for the next 365 days. When you think about it, we all have get 24 hours in a day, which is 24 hours in a day, two plus four equals six, 369 energy, frequency, vibration. That's what 369 mean. Energy, frequency, vibration, right? Uh, 60 minutes in a day, six, six, three, Vibration, all right? Six, 60 seconds in a minute, six. The key to the universe. All right, cool. Secret number one, set soul-based intentions rather than ego-based intentions, all right? Secret number two, supercharge your own intentions and desires by harnessing the power of the thoughts and intentions of those around you, all right? It could be, the, it could be too many people around you. Those who have bad or negative energy have to be removed. You feel what I'm saying? Supercharge someone else's energy. Put some good intentions on people's hearts. Secret number three: Know and own your your, your, your inherent worthiness. All right, inherent worthiness. Like you gotta do that. If you ain't doing that, I'm telling you, you going you going a different direction. So listen here, real talk. Like, and what I'm preaching to y'all is right here. Check this out. It's project, and I wrote this shit down. January 23rd, I wrote this down. It's y'all still, still January 1st, 2023. It was 11.09 p.m. I was in Miami Beach. Goals, music, real estate, mentorship, entrepreneurship. And then what I'm doing right now, I'm actually mentoring y'all. Little y'all know y'all, y'all can say what y'all want to say, but I'm literally mentoring y'all right now. You feel what I'm saying? 
So check this out. I'll show y'all some. This is the key to the universe. 369. It's a science based. This is no joke. It's, it's like it's proven science, right? So I'm gonna show y'all some. And notice when I wrote I am. I'm always, you gotta always talk in the I am. See, there is a I am that is unconditioned. Alright? Everybody. You gotta speak what you want over your life. You feel me? But let me show y'all something real quick. I'm gonna show y'all this right here, right? Break it down to y'all so y'all can see. Cause I think what happened when y'all see facts, it actually changed our mentality. Versus somebody just talking. I'd rather show y'all facts, okay? So check this out right here, right? One of my favorites. Right? So everything revolves around 369, right? I'm telling y'all, like everything. Let me go to here. Is y'all see it right there? 24 hours in a day, 2.4 equals 6, 60 minutes an hour, 6, 60 seconds in a minute, 6, 369, energy frequency, vib frequency vibration, right? And you and they got a chart. It'll show you everything. Break all down the uh the frequencies right here. 174, 285, 396, 417. And 432 hertz is the natural hertz of the world. Like this is the most positive hertz. You feel me? They switch it to 434, 434. Everybody right now is majority roaming all 434 hertz, right? That hertz is meant to destroy and uh keep y'all off balance. Little you know it or not. But you go do your go do your research, right? As y'all see right here, it's, 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 it's here, bro. The speed of the light come down to nine. The diameter of the sun come down to nine. The diameter of the earth come down to nine. The diameter of the moon it come down to nine. It's the universe. Like, this is real. This is real game. This, this is when you really change your mindset and you become one within yourself. You Because we are all gods. Don't never get it twisted. A lot of y'all don't understand this. We are all gods. But you have to you have to do your part to awaken yourself. It ain't just gonna come to the wind and not bullshit. I'm gonna go back inside. But anyway, go back over here to my journal. Real quick. I'm gonna show y'all this other one. I'm, I was gonna show y'all real quick. Like everything that I want is already written out. And it's and it's all coming to life. You feel what I'm saying? But hold up. Give me a second. Go ahead for y'all real quick. I'm gonna show y'all some stuff, man. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. So, I want y'all to get y'all a journal, and this how y'all gotta. This how y'all gotta start di directing your life, right? Like, so look for me for example. 2023, I'm entering a new phase in my life. Last 365 days, I learned a lot and faced a lot of situations that I have taught. They have taught um, different lessons. Okay, and I am accomplishing the goal that I set out to complete. I am building my SSG brand worldwide, impacting millions of people's lives. I am becoming the most influenced artist in the world. My music will positively impact millions of people. I am investing heavily into real estate. I am taking my family around the world. I am purchasing real estate in every city and state and country where I can and build an impact on, on people's lives positively. I am spreading knowledge to the people. I will sell, I will sell 100,000 copies of uh, 